Galaxy. Galaxy, I didn't even know you knew that word. Galaxy. Aaron is nearly five. He's going to be five in a few weeks and yet he fits into a tree, which is brilliant because it stops him from running around. Doesn't it? Hello? <laughs> Any child, he absolutely loves pesto. And it's only 99p in Aldi, so I've got two of them. Go for one. He wants me to get three, but two's enough. Because we've come late in the day, literally everything is empty. I'm a bit disappointed. Everything is empty. Oh my god, this is a bargain. Roast bag, pork, sage and onion. Stuffed British whole chicken, only 3 99 I am grabbing one of them. Just come back from Aldi and I've got four big bags plus this box which is just burst in plus the cornflakes and a big box of Magnus and all of that came to £81 so let's get it out and see what I've got. I've just emptied all the bags in that box and I've got a hell of a lot for £81 so let's be quick. Big huge um, 1kg um, cornflakes. Aaron just disturbed me so let's try again. This 1kg box of Kellogg's cornflakes was um, I think £2.64 and on top of that it's got 33% extra free. What was really funny is there was one of those signs that you see on social media. You know those ones where Aldi takes a penny off but makes a big sign out of it? It said £2.65 reduced to £2.64. It does make me laugh but anyway. So that is an amazing bargain. Then Aaron wanted these chocolate hoops because he thinks they make him strong because of um, that man on the front. I got Magnus because Daddy's a big um, cider fan, but I got the the pear flavoured one because I thought I could share it with him. This is six bottles and that was cheap. I can't remember how much, but I'll put the prices on as annotations or something. I always get these wipes. Floor wipes and antibacterial wipes. I get them at least once a fortnight. I try and stretch them. Um, big bag of frozen chips. Eight beef burgers, which look really wholesome. And I always get their drumsticks and thighs every week because of what they say. Fresh class A, perfect for oven roasting. No, where's the bit? Yeah, that's it. All of our chickens are reared with passion by farmers we know and trust on a balanced diet in barns with natural daylight and bales. So I get that every week. Got some bacon as well. This ready to cook chicken on croot with cheddar cheese and bacon because it looked nice. Um, cooked chicken because daddy likes to be able to grab those from the fridge for a snack. Two packets of sausages which sound lovely considering they're only £1.49 each. And 100% British pork. And the meat percentage is focus. The meat percentage is 78%, so for 149 I think that's bloody awesome. And they're Bramley apple. These, I can't remember how much these cup of soups are, but they're very, very cheap, something like 49p or something. But I tend to get them every week as well. This, oh my god, I got this for the first time, the last time we were in Aldi. And if you do it with potatoes and vegetables and gravy, it is to die for. The box doesn't look big, but I give Aaron a quarter, me a quarter, and Daddy two quarters, and it's just divine. These are like um, the yoghurt crunches, but the Aldi equivalent. This meat minced as a mean bolognese. Now this was the bargain of the shop. It's a full chicken, a roast in the bag chicken with pork, sage and onion. It's a full whole chicken and it was only 3 99 Nowadays you normally pay about 5 99 for a chicken, so that was just the bargain of the century. Two broccolis, because I think they were only 49p each. Potato wedges. Sorry, I'm such an amateur, my memory space ran out. Um, yeah, so two broccolis, a bag of frozen potato wedges. I need to get them in the freezer soon, but I'm doing this video, obviously. Um, a six pack of Monster Munch, but the Aldi equivalent. These, I only discovered the last time we were in there. They're bites. You get sour cream and onion ones. Um, and you get these sweet cranberry and coconut ones. They're the perfect in-between meal snack. You just nibble on them. Oh my God, they're to die for, I promise. Now... I've saved a fortune on milk since I started going to Aldi. Um, these, I think, are only 59p each or something. I get them instead of the proper 
Alpro soy milk, so that saves me a fortune. Um, coleslaw, meatballs. Ah, now that looks like cheap ham, but it's proper breaded ham, and it's as tasty as good ham, so don't be deceived by the price. It's really, really good. We're as dairy-free as we possibly can be, so olive, spreadable instead of butter. Nine lemons, because I'm going to start drinking lemon in my water all the time now. We get this salmon every week, because it's to die for, especially the dressing that comes with it. This is amazing, that's so you go in if you do it in a, it's a big deep tub and it's easily enough for three. Um, it's beautiful if you do it in a wok. Aaron and me are addicted to crumpets. I find cashew nuts can be really dear but in Aldi they're not at all so I get them all the time. Fusilli, I normally have loads of it in the cupboard but I'd run out. This big enormous lasagna is Aaron's absolute favourite dinner so try and get one of them every week. Potato waffles because they're just really handy to have in the freezer. I always have um, drinks in the fridge because I have to meet Aaron with one outside school. He always comes out of school parched and obviously back to school is on Monday. These are only 59p so I've got blackcurrant and apple and he loves them perfect for after school or going to the park. Um, I found that pesto over the years has got dearer and dearer in the main supermarkets but and actually Aldi is now one of the main supermarkets didn't they just get made the sixth the sixth biggest one in the last few weeks. Um, they increased their market share or something. But anyway, this pesto is only 99p, whereas I think for the official pesto that you get in the big supermarkets, it's like 149. So that's a big saving, and I got two of those. Um, I got this to put in um, cupcakes because it says home baking jam, whatever that means, but I thought I'd try it. Um, black pepper, two jars of sweet and sour because whenever I do sweet and sour chicken, I always get through two jars because I do a whole skillet full. Bolognese, because I think I've already got a few in the cupboard. I think I've done the meatballs already. Oh, two slices of proper bloomers, and um, they were only 99p each. Packet of good ham, and Aaron is absolutely addicted to brioche rolls. And I think that's everything. Ah, oh, where's the toilet rolls? What have I done with the toilet rolls? I've got two big... I've got two big nine-pack toilet rolls. I spent £81, so this isn't it. I got two packets of nine toilet rolls. They were, I think, three ninety nine each. I'll have to go and ask Daddy where he put them. But yeah, £81. Quite a lot for my money, I think. When Daddy brought the shopping in from the car, he'd already put the toilet roll away. But it's um, these jumbo rolls. They say... Whatever that means. Anyway, double length toilet tissue, and it's a pack of... Actually, it's not nine. That's why that six was confusing me. Sorry, they're not nine. They're six, but I always get two, um, one for each toilet. So I think they are 3 99 each, but I'll add it on as an annotation. Okay, thank you. So the cornflakes and those are the choco hoops. The magnets and the wipes are yet to go away. And the um, crisps and bits and bobs are yet to go away. But I have put all the fridge stuff away. And the fridge... Come over here then. Hello. The fridge is now chock -a block full. I always like to have a spare butter in. And yeah, that is a milky one, but it's because we ran out. But anyway, yeah, the, this fridge is just huge. I've done a review on this fridge on my channel, so you can have a look. I mean, look how far back it goes. And it's so tall that you can stand, you can stand things up. Um, I've got drinks stacked up there. It's just such a luxury after how small the previous fridge was, but this is so deep and so tall. I mean, that's a whole chicken on the bottom shelf. Whole tall jar of passata, even with a wire rack above it. It's a big, big, big fridge. He wants me to video him playing football. I'm devastated his dinosaur has gone flat and I only bought it yesterday. He's playing football in my kitchen. Because him and daddy just played football in the park, so he's obsessed now. <laughs> oh, that's the Easter card he made me. Yeah! Anyway, bye for now.